morning, good evening, good afternoon, everyone. This is Betska, the Guru Coach, co-hosting with Raj Vashist, and you all know this wonderful man. Now, listen, for the last few podcasts, we have had an incredible guest. His name is Thiru, Thiru Vengadam, and Thiru is a global business consultant, and uh, he's a wow. You know, I mean, we could have him on our podcast for years and still learn things from him, so we're delighted that he has agreed to spend uh, some precious time with us uh, for all of our sakes, because there's so much to learn about being an entrepreneur. So, uh, Thiru, welcome back. Welcome. Yeah. And, you know, we are celebrating positiveness with Thiru. Yes, we are. We're celebrating. Thanks. Yeah, absolutely. He's a very positive man. I've known Thiru for years, and he's, he's Mr. Positive. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> you have to be to be an entrepreneur, right? A successful one. Yeah. <laughs> so, what yeah, we want. Often time I, I just mirror who's in front of me. So, any positivity that you see me is based on who is in front of me. That's you and Raj. <laughs> yeah, we are. We are very positive. <laughs> So today what Thiru wants to introduce to all of us is because there is not enough time to put all of his knowledge into, you know, all of these podcasts. So what Thiru has done is he's created a simple planning document. It's a high level document for you, for us, so that we can take another look at our business and take it to the next level. Is that correct, Thiru? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay, Awesome. So let me share the document. Raj is going to uh, let me share the document and we'll pop it up here so you can see what we're talking about. Yeah, sure. So we have been discussing about uh, entrepreneurs and their energy and their enthusiasm to get into business. I come across so many of them and the one thing that is missing in them is they kind of uh, fail to plan. In the sense, a failure to plan is, is kind of a planning to fail. In the sense, you haven't really put all your thoughts together. You haven't shared it with your team, with your partners, etc. But then take it you know, as you go. That kind of does not necessarily serve the purpose after a little while, which is why we thought we should give a template so that uh, you know we can all you know start with a plan in a, in a simple approach manner we can also do this in a very yeah, longish manner you know pages and pages together that's that's uh, you know up to you as to how detailed you want but the uh, essence of what needs to be put into place is what we have captured here in this document and uh, it starts from uh, your background and uh, your vision for the company, your mission for the company, and the value proposition, all of which we already discussed in our previous podcast. And, uh, and then from there on, if you can build on to uh, covering the market that you have, what is the product that you want to take to the market, etc. So in the template, how I have organized that is on the middle column, I have given a short description of what you should be working on. Right. And on the last column or the third column, you can fill in you know, your responses. So this would kind of become a you know, ready reckoner for you to get your thoughts together and then share with your team. You can also review this and then keep you know, you know, building uh, newer versions of this. And if you want to do a more detailed one for each one of them, each one of these topics that are listed on the first column, well, obviously you can do that and then you can add more pages and then keep working on it. And uh, from our side, both Raj and myself and Betska, we are more than happy to help you, you know, as we go forward, if you want any help in, you know, expanding on any one of these, or you want to check with us on any of the terms used here, all of which we already have covered in our podcast, but then you are more than welcome to reach back to us. Mr. Thank you. And, and Thiru is offering this template free of charge to you. And in a moment, we'll give you his email address so you could, or his phone number. So you can call him, email him, and he will be very happy to send this uh, to you free of charge. And it's businesses helping businesses. I really like that. Yeah. 
So, Theory, why don't, why don't we just go down the list here um, yeah. very briefly? So you had said brief description of your product and service after you've got your vision, your spiritual purpose, your mission, value proposition, and so on. And by the way, podcast viewers, uh, Raj and I in the new year are going to be doing a series on spiritual life purpose. Very nice. If you have not already got one, if you don't even know what your purpose is here on planet Earth, you know, what is your um, soul contract with God, if you will, then attend that uh, those sessions because they will really give you some depth to your business and with your spiritual life purpose, then you can develop your vision and your mission. It's just, it just makes a lot of sense. So I wanted to share that with you um, as a plug for the uh, future programming in 2000 uh, for 2023. Absolutely. And that would really help because, you know, as we come across a large number of organizations who are struggling to uh, let us say uh, progress the real issue is the organization is the sum total of the people. If those people individually, each one of them have already worked on their spiritual purpose, the sum total of that would become the spirit of that organization. Oh, yeah. When they fail to do that, that's when they get into conflicts and then wow. they get stalled. Let's go. Wow, Viru, thank you for saying that because you're the first uh, major consultant that, that I have heard talk about it that way because it's so true. I know when I work with the senior level folks, I want to know their life spiritual purpose, and then we combine it. Right when we're group coaching, we we then we can work, we can move forward with them because if we don't know, if they don't know what their purpose is, they kind of flounder, right? Absolutely, yeah. And they don't approach the business with logic and with heart. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for adding that. My God. So how about this page? Uh, talk about this page here, the second page. Sure. So as, as, as you had seen in the previous page, once you have an idea, you have a product, you start defining the market. The market could be all over the world or it could be a country. It could be a state within a country. You know, likewise, you can define because before we come to this target addressable market, you need to know what is the market. We, then only you will be able to put as to what is the dollar value of that market in a given year for that particular particular territory. Let's say it is the state of California and then for that, for your product for year of 2023, what is the total dollar that customers are going to spend on your product? That would become the tab. Likewise, yeah. from that you probably could deduce further down as to what is the serviceable market and then of which how much you can obtain based on the resources and the infrastructure that you have etc that is how this is this has to be built so that you have a kind of a frame of reference for each one of whatever you are working on and you can keep expanding on all these friends whether it is a territory whether it's industry or the products and services that you offer as you keep you know progressing with your uh, business and, it, it, you know, this, this document can further, you know, help you towards, you know, expanding on all those areas in a very logical fashion so that you have everything in one place. Yeah, and Thiru, um, I just want our podcast viewers here to, um, the, the TAM, SAM, and SOM are really important. I didn't even know what they were until Thiru came along and told, talked about it and taught us about it. So if you haven't listened to those podcasts, on Tam, Sam, and Som, go back uh, or ask Raj for the uh, for the link. Those are important because if we don't have that nailed down, then we're going to flounder again. You know, so the the idea behind Thiru's document is to get us to focus. Is that right, Thiru? Yes, correct. That's right. <sighs> yes. Okay. Similarly, the goals and objectives. You know. Uh, you know, we invite the entrepreneurs to define the goals and objectives in both objective manner as well as the qualitative subjective ones. And uh, the whole purpose of the business plan is to work backwards from those goals. What is that goal that you want to accomplish? Let's say at the end of the year. Now, that's not going to just drop from the sky at the end of the year. So obviously, we have to do a whole lot of work during the year. Work backwards from that as to in order for me to get, let's say, a $5 million of revenue by end of the year, what all things that I need to do. 
and and in order to do that obviously we have to set this up front and then organize the company and the people and the products and services and the partners the go to market you know all of that that's how we are able to deliver what is uh, expected to be delivered by the company sure and similarly expanding on to the team and as we just now spoke about the the company is the sum total of the team the entrepreneur and the team mm-hmm. so that is the total competency that actually delivers the products and services to the market so obviously we need to make sure that there is sufficient competence within the organization to deliver to the customer it's very interesting to know that if they have lesser competency they will fail and if they have over competency than what is needed to deliver to the clients then their cost will rise they won't be profitable so they need to kind of maintain this at the level at which they just meet what is needed for the customer wow that's really interesting so let me let me ask you something thiru um so a company you know puts together their plan they they followed your template and and then they don't do well at all they fall flat mhm what do you recommend well <clears throat> any plan needs to be review the the period at which they review is dependent on the company and the and the entrepreneur it could be reviewed on a monthly basis or a fortnightly basis definitely they should do at least a monthly review in order to see what is working what is not working and then you know do the mid course corrections as they say so we don't wait for the end of the year to see see that whether we have done it or not done it obviously right. we have to do that. that is number 1 right number 2 when you say they are already following the plan and but they are not able to make it then we will have to go back to see whether some of the assumptions were correct or not maybe we thought you know yeah, there would be a market uh, for this particular product and uh, based on certain you know uh, research that we have done we will have to go back to validate them whether it really was so or not or the third one could be like you know there were other alternate products available from other competition etc so all of these obviously on an ongoing basis the company the the leaders of the company have to keep on watching it's nothing is set forever at at one go right so we will have to keep on uh looking around and then make the corrections as as we go forward and the last part is obviously the 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 leader and the the team that they have the plan may be good the mm-hmm. uh, the capital is infused but still we are not able to do then we we'll have to look at the human capital that is involved as to what is holding them back whether okay they had the sufficient uh, skills and competencies to carry forward or they are lacking somewhere so they probably have to look for some intervention uh, from an external uh, you know consultant or a coach to check as to what is going on here mm-hmm. <laughs> and why are we failing to accomplish okay. our goals yeah that's wonderful that. Well, thank you, Thiru. Um, you would have seen folks on the screen uh, Thiru's email address. It's Vengadam, V-E-N-G-A-D-A-M-59 at Gmail. Um, he's in Bangalore, and his number is 919-001-96205. So please take advantage. Uh, order this simple planning template. It's free of charge. Offer it. Uh, take advantage. take Thiru up on his offer and if you need any support please give him a call thank you Thiru thank you welcome may that you